My name is Ben Sadegipur, and I am from California, Sacramento, California. I started hacking when uh, I used to borrow my brother's laptop to get on the computer and play games, and he would put passwords on him for uh, me to not use his computer and be a uh, bigger brother, older brother, um, doing things that older brothers do. And I have had to figure out ways of hacking into his computer and getting access to the computer so I can play my games. And that's kind of what it piqued my interest in hacking. And I started hacking since then. I, I hack because I enjoy the challenge of being able to identify someone else's mistakes and the developer's mistake and not to be rude about it, but figure out what they went wrong and how I can figure out um, how to break into it. Um, it gives you a feeling of satisfaction to know that you were actually able to um, find something, identify it, exploit it, and actually escalate it and report it to the security team and successfully getting it to the right appropriate team to get it patched. Um, with bug bounties, I would say my first interaction with bug bounties was Yahoo. I was able to find a cross-site script link and email them before they were on the platform and they invited me to the HackerOne platform later on and uh, that was my first successful bug that I ever submitted. I was able to identify a vulnerability on a private program that was using a um, web application firewall that was a really pain in the back. We were actually, I, I was actually able to identify a bypass for it that led on to multiple vulnerabilities that got paid out and a lot of uh, good rewards and bounties and I've expand on that research and I've used that research of my, uh, my own and I've expanded it to other programs and I still think I use the same research that I have with that same program on other private or public programs I get invited to. I pick uh, the private programs or um, mostly private programs that are launched newly but if there is anything else other than the private program I usually look at the response time, average bounty paid and what hackers are already on there and when I got added to the program. So if a program was launched years ago and there is already five out of the top hackers on there already looking, chances that I won't spend as much time versus a program that just got launched or newly launched with smaller amount of researchers with a high and uh, high bounty reward and response time as well. I had a semi-bad experience with, uh, at the time it was a bad experience with a company that I found a very high critical vulnerability that was not paid fairly by the um, program. But later on, they invited me to their office. We sat down, we discussed what happened, and I gave them feedback, and they actually took my feedback in consideration and made appropriate changes. And um, we actually became friends, and I got to meet them. I go and stop by their office, and I got to see them today as well on DEF CON. And um, it's, it helped me network myself. It also taught me a lot of um, lessons of how to approach a problem and how to fix that problem before it escalates into a bigger problem. I use a MacBook Pro with two external monitors um, plugged into it and I have external, everything is external, I just use my laptop just in case I need to want to go somewhere else and get comfortable, I can just unplug it from my monitor and move away. Uh, I actually listen to a lot of uh, dance music and something that's more fast paced and I usually have it on the loudest possible um, that I can and that's my way of focusing. I can't work when it's super quiet and I don't need to be in a quiet space, I just need to be having my headphones on and listen to my music and be able to uh, move fast space as I hack away. Bug Bounty is not only that have given me the opportunity to meet new people and uh, make new friends and network myself, it's also given me the opportunity to um, find jobs and uh, put myself through college, pay for bills, um, pay for vacations, and it's also helped me um, kind of pay for my wedding and get the wedding that I wanted to have. Uh, and it's also helped me um, have fun and be able to do the stuff I wanted to do before participating in bug bounties. I like to uh, play video games, go out with friends, um, and uh, that's about it. <laughs> I like to hack a lot more than anything else. Um, the very best security conference would have to be DEF CON and Black Hat because everybody from everywhere around the world, they show up to Las Vegas to meet each other and um, it's one of the biggest security conferences around. Um, I think my favorite thing about DEF CON is that everybody comes to DEF CON um, once a year. Everybody from around the globe comes around to this uh, security conference to meet up, to network themselves. And for me, it's the fact that I get to hang out with the friends that I talk to on a daily basis almost every day that I never get to hang out in person. And even though we get to Skype, FaceTime, whatever, it gives us the ability to be able to be in person, hang out, and find 
um, share ideas, share vulnerabilities, or even grab a drink. And if I haven't met somebody and I know that they're going to be at DEF CON, I get the chance to actually meet up with them and put a face to their name. For new hackers, I would say um, definitely read anything hacking related or in the field that you want to get it started with. I would also tell them that do not give up on what you're doing. There's going to be times that you're never going to find a vulnerability. It might take you days, hours, maybe weeks um, to find a bug. So always keep, keep going at it. And the other thing I could tell them is that um, ask questions. Go uh, bother people that you think um, they are willing to help you. Ask them questions. How do I do this? Don't be pushy, but always, be able, always reach out to other people that you think might be helpful to you. That's the biggest thing I did myself personally, and it's helped me improve my research as much as I have.